Keep boys and girls example. Question says, well, evaluate the triple integral of this function, which is defined as square root of x squared plus z squared dv over region E. The region E is defined as follow. Well, it's bounded by paraboloid. Bounded by paraboloid y equals to x squared plus z squared and the plane y equals to four. There we go. So what are we trying to do? We are trying to evaluate this triple integral. It means that your ceiling depends on this function and you have a region of the following form. This is your region. So let's try to visualize what's happening here. Let's try to graph this guy. Here I have my x, my y, my z. Then I go to the uh, x, y plane to just check the basis. So x squared plus z squared, and it's along y. So well, I have the following. Very good. And I have my um, y equal to four. So let me just graph this way as well. Y equals to four, suppose four is here. So I have y equals to four, my plane. Distinguish between these. So I'm cutting my paraboloid by this plane. So in x y plane, the base look like this. The base. So let me see. This is just going to be a line, and then here you have this portion of parabola. Am I right? So. We're going to have x and y, and y equals to 4. So this is my x, and this is my y. y equals to 4, just right here. And I have my parabola here. In x, y plane, z is equal to 0. So it, you have y equals to x squared, which is this parabola. And this is one equal to four. Okay, perfect. Now let's try to set this up. We have the triple integral, and I have the square root of x squared plus z squared. Now we need to decide which one comes first, dx, dy, dz, which one? comes first here. So let's see, if y is equal to four, y equals to x squared, x becomes plus minus two. So my x is bounded between negative two and the two. So this is my x. My y from below is bounded by x squared, from above is bounded by four. Okay, so far so good. And what about my z? If we're going to analyze z, I need to look at y equals to x squared my plus z squared. So z squared is a y minus x squared. So z is plus minus square root of y minus x squared. Okay, here we go. There we go. So let us set this up. X is bounded between two fixed numbers, this is two, negative two and two. This is my x. So the outer integral is dependent on x. The inner integral, x squared to four 
my dy. And now for z, z is bounded between negative square root of y minus x squared and square root of y minus x squared. Okay. This is my triple integral that I try to evaluate. So let me find the inner integral first, then uh, this is the most inner integral, then the, with respect to y, then outer integral with respect to x. Very good. Let's see if it's easy to calculate the integral this way. So we are trying to take it the integral of the square root of x squared plus z squared. So how do we take this integral? All right. This is the question that should be asking from the beginning step. If this integral is difficult to calculate, then we have to make some adjustments, right? Since this integral is difficult to calculate, let us try to make some adjustments. Okay, very good. So, so far we know that y is x squared plus z squared and y is equal to four. So remember that we took this and we looked at it in x, y plane. If I just look at the base in x, z plane, what do I have? So I'm going to make the adjustment for the base. So let's take a look at this. In x, z plane, base in x, x, z plane, x, z plane. So here you have your x axis. Now for your vertical line, instead of using y, you're going to use z. As you can see, the intersection between these two in x plane, your y is equal to four. You get x squared plus z squared equals to four. You have a circle. You have a circle centered at the origin with radius two. Well, now I have a circular region. Okay, it makes it a little bit easier for me to do the computation, to do the calculation this way. So. Remember that this integral was difficult to calculate. Now we're going to make some adjustments. My x and my z now are in x, z plane. x is equal to, for example, in that case, you can use the polar coordinates, right? You can say that, hey, my x is r cosine theta. Now, instead of y, you have z equals to r sine theta, r is bounded between zero and two, theta is bounded between zero to two pi, and the rest of it. Perfect. So we can write this as theta, zero to two pi, r, zero to two, and then now we can work with our y, y is bounded between four so from below it's bounded by x squared plus c squared and from top it's bounded by this four okay now it makes much more sense and let's copy down the function x squared plus z squared dy 
R, DR, D, theta. Now it makes much more sense to deal with this guy because you can easily take this integral. It has no Y in it and you're creating these two as well. So this guy becomes the integral zero to two pi, integral zero to two. And here you have square root of x squared plus z squared times or minus x squared minus z squared r dr d theta to do the substitution, then take the integral. This guy becomes integral zero to two pi, integral zero to two. And here you have r squared cosine squared of theta plus r squared sine squared of theta parentheses or minus r squared cosine squared of theta minus r squared sine squared of theta r dr d theta. This is zero to two pi, zero to two. And here you have r squared, square root of r squared is just r. And here you end up with four minus r squared r dr d theta. Now we can apply Fubini's theorem, separate these. This is the integral zero to two pi d theta times the integral zero to two r four minus r squared times r dr. This becomes two pi times so here, if you distribute this into parentheses, zero to two, you get four r squared minus r to the fourth dr. This is two pi. And here you have four thirds r cubed minus r to the fifth over five. r starts from zero to two. Let's see, you have two pi times here you have 32 over 3 minus 32 over 5 so let us simplify this 2 pi times 32 and 2 over 15 very good so if you multiply this you get 4 32 128 pi over 15 we found the triple integral of the given function bounded to paraboloid y equals to x squared plus z squared and the plane y equals to four. As you saw the first attempt, it was difficult to calculate the integral. So we changed the base to xz instead of x 